Chicago is known for a little bit of crime. So uh, you want to be as close to the university as possible. Hey everyone, welcome to another interview with another very special person, Sean. Uh, he's currently pursuing his master's in computer science at UIC, University of Illinois, Chicago. And today we want to learn from him all the uh, things that he learned and his experience about density. But before we do that, would love to hear a little bit about you, uh, Sean. Yeah, so I am uh, currently pursuing my master's at UIC. I'm about to graduate in six months. And uh, before that, I was working for three years as a machine learning researcher in India. Got it, got it. Now, when you started your journey uh, to start thinking about pursuing a master's, I think one of the first things that you must have done is you must have prepared, given, given some exam and built a certain profile right? So yeah, yeah. what was your profile? What were your scores uh, before you started applying? So for, um, for, so before I started the process, so like I went through the, uh, a few documents which the, uh, the U.S. Uh, immigration office has for uh, your F1 students and all that. Then I went about like, which colleges do I want to apply to? Mm. And then after that, I started preparing for GRE. Got it. So, yeah. So in the um, in the preparation process, I would say it's just a standard normal test preparation. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the more important part was the English comprehension and uh, um, I would say the essay part because mm -hmm. as engineers we are very well versed with the mathematical part, but uh, when you're going to abroad, you might want to. Um, like relearn or understand how they speak English. So right. yeah, so I just went about going with that. There are a few uh, online tools and uh, things at that time. Manhattan Prep was one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those helped me in that. And my scores, I would say GRE was uh, uh, a three twenty four, and uh, TOEFL was a one o seven. Got it. Got it. And with this, I'm pretty sure you must have applied to few universities, uh, out of which you got few admits and then you finalize UIC. So what were yeah, those yeah. you applied to? What were the admits you got? And what was your thought process of shortlisting UIC? Yeah, so I had applied to a few colleges like Arizona State. Then I applied to uh, Maryland um, and uh, TAMU. But the thing was, uh, and your uh, and uh, and Buffalo as well. But the thing was that majorly, most of them, uh, either the course curriculum wasn't matching, as mm -hmm. in, so I'm looking for uh, AI research, and one of the professors here at UIC, like he has a very good course called Piotr Grimitswich. Um, he's a he's very good, and he's like he's got more than twenty plus years of experience teaching and around 20, like 15 years, I think, in the industry, in the industry itself. Mm -hmm. And he's got like, uh, he works with Argon Labs and uh, the Fermi Labs. So he's got real good uh, research uh, understanding and um, his courses are very well uh, thought about. So I read about him and uh, so even if like the university standings are not that uh, good, I'm, uh, I would say that you should go into CS rankings and check out like the professors on there and see like what kind of research they're doing before selecting the course. Got it, got it. So you applied to these four uh, universities and did you get yes. all the four admits or how was it? Uh, other than TAMU, I got all. In Maryland, I got something else. I got a, I got a different non-CS non uh, admit. So I was like, uh, I'm not thinking about joining that. and. Uh, the others, I went through the course load and I was like, okay, uh, uh, I should not uh, like just uh, compromise on the courses which I want because mm -hmm. I was thinking about, uh, I have a certain plan on what I want to do because I already have industry experience in this field. So I just wanted to build on that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Understood. Now, uh, once you finalize UIC, obviously, I think the first thing that you might have started to look for is are they providing any scholarships or funding. So yeah. how is that situation? Is there a possibility of getting scholarship in UIC? How's, um, if so, what are the, what is yeah. the process? 
so it's actually not that uh, i would say it's not that hard to get uh, a scholarship but the thing is if you need to get a scholarship you need to apply really early uh, and uh, the thing is once you so the first semester is very important if you can find you have to go to professors and find out if they need any um, any ta work or any other research things and if you do that you are uh, i would say there's a 50% chance you would get into a um, uh, a good uh, ra or ta role but the thing is if you do not it's a bit of a, a kind of it just rinse and repeat so already people who have ta experience kind of are given a more priority so it's like good to get uh, a ta experience within the first two semesters got it got it and what you're saying i believe is if you get a ta and ra then certain part of your tuition fee or the whole tuition fee is removed the whole tuition fee is removed unless you get a gh which is a graduate early where you only get uh, early wages got it understood understood uh, now moving on to the next aspect which is the living as- aspect of uic uh mm-hmm. what are some of those uh, communities where people generally stay like most of the students will stay and what are some, what are okay. your like uh, rents general rents and overall monthly expenses for living yeah so the thing is most people live in uh, the little it- between little italy and uh, uic campus mm-hmm. so that is the major area because that is the closest to campus and the crime rates are very less chicago is known for a little bit of crime so uh, you want to be as close to the university as possible the rates are a little bit higher over here it's like uh, it depends on like where you stay but it's generally uh, because it is the i would say it's taylor street and uh, um, other streets which are uh, adjacent to it uh, mm-hmm. because it's a very happening street it's around 600 dollars per student um it's like it can be vary between 550 to 750 it's like it depends but you could get a good accommodation in like 600 to 650 got it and this is uh, if you are sharing or if you are taking the whole room for yourself yeah this is the whole room for mm-hmm. sharing there are options like it goes for 300 to 350 depending on your thing it could go up to 450 it's, it's a really good house but mm-hmm. nothing more than that uh other students uh, some of them they are like i don't know uh, they prefer to save a more money and move a little bit uh, i would say west of campus uh, mm-hmm. that is closer to the medical campus so there it's much cheaper but the thing is the more west you go or the more south you go uh, it's a little bit more dangerous i would say got but it. the rates the rates would be like non sharing rooms itself would be like 350 to 400 rupees 400 dollars so got it's it. much it's almost half the rate but it's a bit uh, the i would say the neighborhood isn't that good got it got it and i i believe generally i have seen a pattern of uh, every university having university police uh, mm-hmm. who kind of protect the campus and you know keep things in order so yeah. that always it's a, is that also the case with uic yes it is so like i would say around 2 miles from campus or maybe even i think yeah it's probably 4 miles from campus to about 6 miles depending on the area uh, so certain areas like north are already safe so i don't think the uic police goes there but uh, um, other areas around 4 to 6 miles from the campus is like where the uic police normally patrols but they still do go till t- uh, 10 miles from the campus got it understood understood yeah. now uh moving on to the other aspect of uh, expenses which is obviously the tuition fees so what is mm-hmm. the overall tuition fees for two years for uic so just the tuition would be around uh, 54k I, but i think it will increase so every year i think there is a hike which is like 4% or something like that but for me it's it would be around 54k dollars got it got it so 54k for the masters overall and then i believe about 15 to 20k for expenses so around 70000 dollars is what i'm believing to be the overall yeah. right yeah. Uh, now 
we definitely touched a little bit about TA and RA, but uh, what about the other on-campus jobs? Uh, because one of the things that students want to do is as soon as they land, they figure out their living. The next thing that they want to have is an on-campus job. So, so what are places where you get on-campus jobs? So on campus, there is, uh, so there are different buildings which we have and each building has um, shops and uh, things. If, you, if you're not getting RA and TA, um, these, uh, and there's a stadium. So these three are the areas. So buildings, uh, uh, there are some research facilities which need like uh, uh, non-technical people and, and uh, the, what do you call it? The stadium itself. Uh, mm -hmm. it's like uh, auditorium kind of thing so those areas need people for jobs and it's quite kind of easy to get it as long as you apply early or you get a referral it's very easy to get them got it got it understood uh, now one of the other things which i have heard with a lot of universities uh, is if the courses in summer are generally mm -hmm. so is that also the case with UIC? Uh, do people take courses in summer? How's this? Well, not really, because uh, most of the courses in summer would be like the courses from the semester before, but like, again, because some might have failed or some kind of thing. Uh, most people do an internship during that time, right? Right. So, right. But uh, hmm. now that would be for people who come in fall, but people who come yeah. in... The first summer is kind of uh, a time which they have where they are not qualified to do an internship and then they have this like chunk of time almost like three to four months to spare i would say that uh, i don't know about other departments but my department has barely had like three to four subjects uh, during that period got it got it got it now uh, you are doing uh, computer science but apart from computer science what are those other majors uh, which you see are popular or are good quality in UIC? So I would say the biggest I would say is MIS. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is one big and industrial engineering. Those two are like the most common ones. And yeah, industrial engineering is like the hottest field right now. Like mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you graduate, you're almost sure to get a job. Got it. Got it. Even like uh, mechanical and civil have a quite big uh, thing. I, I don't know about other cities, but in Chicago, like if you get a, a civil degree and you take that civil exam, there's an exam which you need to uh, finish to show mm -hmm. that you are qualified. And if you do that, then it's like you get, you're almost guaranteed a job. It's not, it's like in a good company. I'm not talking about standard placements that is almost guaranteed if you do from UIC, but you can get into a very great company if you do that. Got it. Understood. Uh, now, moving on, keeping our conversation going, I think the la uh, second last or like almost the last point which I try to uh, understand about university is uh, the curriculum itself. So, mm -hmm. I have a belief that in your whole program of 10 to 12 courses, generally there are these two to three courses which are really good and add value to your resume in terms of, you know, helping you to get a job. So what are those courses in UIC uh, if someone has to take? Yeah, so I would generally say that uh, most 500 level courses are the ones you would want to be like, okay, uh, these are the ones, uh, depending on your specialization, you would want to take the one which you like. So for my specialization, I would say the, ma the main ones would be uh, AI2. That is, uh, uh, it helps in like, it's a general application of AI. So uh, you, you, they teach you to make, how, how to make AIs for a, a particular environment. And mm -hmm. the other is neural networks. So these are 500 level courses, which are there. And one very important course for every CS student is 401, which is uh, computer, um, basically um, introduction to computers so it's like uh, it's uh, computer algorithms so it's like introduction to computer algorithms so every student needs to go through that so that they're able to uh, crack the fang interviews because uh, they are they have a lot of inter like emphasis on those kind of algorithms and um, uh, it actually helps with those preparations because once your basics for that subject is clear 
I think it's uh, it's much easier to uh, do the prep for companies. Understood. Understood. Uh, now, moving on to the last uh, point for today's conversation, which is the jobs themselves, right? So how is the situation mm-hmm. with jobs? Uh, how do you see, what is your observation so far in terms of how people are getting internships? Where are they getting? And same, uh, how is the situation with full-time jobs in Chicago? So um, I would say that um, it's easier to get an in, uh, to get a job than an internship because uh, for internship, I think the first thing is you need to apply early and you need uh, a referral because uh-huh. in the current job market, uh, it's really hard to uh, get an internship otherwise. But uh, in the previous uh, semesters, which I've just seen, like the one before us, is like if you apply for an internship, you are guaranteed one, almost like that. Got it. So Got it. currently we're going through a different phase, but yeah, but as long as you can get referrals for, I think, four or five companies and give a few interviews before that, I think uh, you're, you're almost, uh, there's an 80% chance you get an internship. Got it. Understood. Uh, now that's all ha- we had for this conversation on thank you so much for your patience sharing all this information with us uh, for everyone who is watching mention your favorite nugget that you or favorite takeaway that you had from this interview in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video